Hello again, friends. It is Becca Robbins here with this crazy adventure called Life, where I help you make memories amid the chaos, whether at home or on the road. And my family is in the Disneyland area, and today we're staying at a hotel that is new to us. It is the Homewood Suites across from the convention center, right next door to the Toy Story parking lot. And I'm gonna give you a room tour. Now, before I do that, I do wanna let you know, this was not a hostess stay. Homewood Suites has no idea who I am. However, I did get this stay as a gift from another company that I work with. That will not sway my opinion at all because I owe nothing to Homewood Suites. All right, so let's get on with the room tour. We are staying in a family suite, which is great for families of five or six. And I really love the layout of this. It's got a lot of convenient features that I think you guys are going to love. So let's go. So as we enter the room, as you come in, to the right, you will have a kitchen. Yes, Homewood Suites is kind of like a stay here longer, extended stay is another brand that you might be familiar with. Those types of hotels where you can actually have a little kitchen that is perfect for making meals, they do not have an oven, but you do have a microwave and a stove top. Um, it also has, you know, a kitchen sink and a dishwasher because like many places where you stay um, longer, you will be required to do your own dishes. You get maid service, I believe it's once a week if you are staying that long. All right. And over here you have another feature I love, which is a full size fridge. And I love that because you can really stock up on food. Like we do not have any healthy food hardly, but we have lots of cheese. We have our sodas to get us through. We have some milk. We have hot dogs. We have sandwich fixings and we have leftover pizza and some grapes, all that good stuff. The other thing I love about having a full size fridge though, is that you have a freezer, which is great for freezing ice packs and water bottles and things to take with you into the park. And here's a little candy bar. My husband snuck while we were out um, Walmart. When I unloaded, I'm like, oh, where'd this come from? I freaked out thinking someone in my family had shoplifted, throwing it in the cart without me noticing. All right, and there is plenty of space up on top of this fridge if you would like to put items that you have purchased. Um, like we've got the staple for kids, mac and cheese. And then we have some other things that are up here, our coolers in case we need to take them. Now, another great thing is you come here and they have your um, calendar of social events. They also serve a free breakfast here and Monday, through Thursday, they have a free light dinner. So you have this full kitchen, but you may not even need it that much. All right, as we walk in, you will see there's like a living area and this living area has this little table, which is cute and it will work well to have our three kids at. We will have to bring another chair to it. Over here, you also have a uh, entertainment center with drawers. You have lots of seating. This is a pullout sofa, I believe. And so you can pull that out to have another bed. You have a chair as well and a little table. And this table, <laughs> it looks like it has two little seats on it, but this is actually one long bench. And I'd push it if I was strong enough to do it with my foot, but this is all connected here. So it's one long bench. All right. And then as we walk into the bedroom, again, this is a family suite, so this is not the layout of every single room, but we do have a king size bed, which is wonderful. My husband and I do not even have a king size bed at home, so this is really nice. Um, but on top of that, we also have a bunk bed. And one thing I love about these bunk beds is the amount of headspace. This is a very tall bunk bed. Um, there's a lot of headroom there because this is the kind where it's like two twins on top of each other and you can kind of see that. But it's a ton of headroom so that you have plenty of room for someone to sit underneath. And then on top of that, let's see if I can at least do this part, is, I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, a trundle bed. So yes, you can sleep three people, three kids right here on the top bunk, bottom bunk, and the trundle bed. So this is nice 
for us because we have three kids, they will each get their own bed while we are here, which is nice for them. Um, we also have another table over here with a couple of chairs. This one's set up more like a work table. I won't be doing work in here because my kids will be in here, but my kids are missing school. So we do have some books and homework and things for them to do while we are here today. And then as you come by, you also have this full length mirror, which is always nice for when you have to get ready in the morning to have this extra mirror somewhere other than the bathroom. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm in my beach attire. We also have another entertainment center slash dresser where you can watch TV or do whatever you want. Each room does have its own wall unit for the AC, so you can check that out here and fix that for how you want it. All right, coming in over here, we do have a sink. Now you'll notice our peculiar setup. We do have a cooler that we have our kids step on so that they can reach the sink. And our toiletries are already brought in, so we have that. Right here, this little double door, this is actually the closet space. It is kind of, it is kind of a small closet when you think about um, the fact that this is an extended stay hotel. Now, it fit many of our bags. And it also has a safe. It does have the ironing board and the iron. And there are a few hangers, not as many as I've seen in a few other hotels recently. And there is also the extra bedding for the pullout sofa. All right. So as we back up from that, you'll see right over here is the bathroom. So let's open it up, take a look. It's nothing fancy, but it is very neat and clean. Um, bright and white it has just the toilet your toilet your towels you know your toilet paper all that and then it does have the curved shirt the curved shower curtain rod and we have a tub which is important for those of us with kids that there be a tub that is it for this room tour but i am going to see if i can maybe sneak outside and show you the pool area because they have a pool area it has a splash pad a um wading pool a regular pool it also has three barbecue grills that you can ask to be turned on and use so you can grill while you're out there there is a um fire pit that you can sit at night. They also have a basketball court and a putting green. So my family's actually down the pool. We went to the beach, so we were already in some clothes, so they headed down there. And I'm gonna go down there and see if maybe I can get you some footage of that. Okay, so I came outside and I wanna show you guys. Here is the basketball court. It's not huge, it's a half court, but it's something, right? Maybe this is even a half court. I guess it's like one third court. And there are a few putting greens, not like holes, not very, big but it's something and then over here is the pool area so I'm not gonna talk over here but I am gonna get a little bit of video if I can without other people in it so this is the wading pool area it's one and a half feet deep oh that's not a joke boys it's not not on right now but this is also the splash pad right here it's right next to the shallow pool for the wading pool for little kids and then you got this nice large size pool, it goes up to five feet. See here, plenty of seating. Over there you can see there is a fire pit. But what I wanted to show you guys was that they do have these barbecue grills that you can use to make your dinner and grill. They also have a game room by the pool area, which is kind of fun. You can see there's lots of little arcade games over here that kids can come in here and play. It gives you a little something different to do which I like. I always like when hotels offer something you won't find everywhere else. This is also right next door to the Toy Story lot. And so we plan to just walk to the Toy Story lot, hop on a shuttle and ride to Disneyland. So I will try and also get that footage for you, probably in a hyperlapse so it's not too boring, but we'll get it for you.
you like this hotel, be sure to book through my partners at Getaway Today, where you can get discount Disneyland tickets, amazing hotel deals, and more. Again, this is Becca Robbins with this crazy adventure called Life, and I'll see you real soon.